Hey everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. We're going to continue our uh, comparison today between uh, Manifold System uh, Release 9 and Esri's uh, ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro. We're taking a look at what the workflow is like to do to accomplish typical GIS tasks in uh, the different systems and uh, which one works faster. And uh, today we're going to look at contours. Contouring is something that's uh, that you do a lot in GIS and we're going to create contours in this particular train elevation surface. Uh, let's take a look at the properties. It's uh, 25,600 by 37,900 pixels, so it's approximately 26,000 by 30, 38,000 pixels in size. Uh, that's not a big image uh, for uh, Manifold, but it is a pretty big image for uh, uh, Arc. If we uh, zoom in a little bit uh, to take a look at a, cl a closer display, uh, we can see it's pretty detailed. It's a, it's, a, it's a region in Montana. And let's first create contours on this. And the way we do that in Manifold is we go to the uh, Transform panel which is kind of like the equivalent of the uh, geoprocessing toolbox in Esri. And uh, we click on Contour Lines. And uh, I've, just, I've just done this before, so it's already set up. The minimum height is going to be 623. Uh, the maximum height is going to be uh, 3,289 uh, 3, with a step of 100. And you can see how Manifold, when you choose a uh, transform, will automatically preview what it's about to do. This is just a preview. It's not the actual calculation. But Manifold is so fast, and Manifold is fully par parallel, that it actually c can preview things that would take uh, many minutes to compute in uh, Arc. Uh, if we actually want to compute this, we click Add Component. So let's see how long this takes in Manifold. Ready, set, go. This is going to take about uh, 10 seconds, and uh, because this is, after all, a significant amount of data, even doing it parallel. Uh, that's computing a lot of contours. Uh, and let's see how long it takes. Okay, it looks like it's going to be about 11 seconds. And here in the project pane, it created these uh, this drawing tile lines, contour lines. We can drag and drop that into the map, and you can see those those are the lines that it created. Let's uh, let's restyle that slightly. I want to make the lines about uh, a little less thick to make it a little thinner. There, that's prettier. And uh, let's uh, let's go back to the previous view. Actually, we can just go right here to. Uh, zoom to fit and you can see that's it just created uh, those contour lines for that entire uh, display and uh, how long did it take we can look here in the log uh, it took uh, 11 seconds to do that so that's not bad that's a little bit slower than usual but it uh, usually takes about 10.8 something like that this is 11 seconds a 64-bit uh, computer it's actually a thread ripper so it's plenty of cores and uh, let's see how long it takes uh, ArcMap to do this I've already loaded up ArcMap I'm going to turn on ArcMap I've clicked in the toolbar out of sight and this, this is exactly the same train elevation surface. Uh, we dragged and dropped it. It's exactly the same size. Uh, and uh, we're going to use the contour tool here in the geoprocessing toolbox. And the base contour is also going to be 623. 623. Uh, and the uh, contour interval is also going to be 100. Our input raster is going to be the only raster that we have. And the output feature class is going to be contour grid 1. And I'm going to click Run. Now, we're not going to wait around to watch what this does because uh, I'll kind of give the game away. I've done this before, and you have to have a lot of patience to do this because it's going to take 20 minutes to compute the contours. Those are going to be exactly the same contours that Manifold computed in 11 seconds. So it's, uh, it's kind of a choice, uh, 11 seconds versus 20-some uh, uh, minutes. If we, uh, uh, I don't know where the geoprocessing results are here, but the uh, geoprocessing factor from the geoprocessing uh, environments that I've set here is um, parallel processing factor is 100. Um, and uh, what we can see here, what's going on here, is that ArcGIS Pro is actually single threaded, miraculously double threaded. Uh, you c it can launch two threads. It has one thread which maintains this user interface in the front, and the other thread, it's launched this contour building uh, uh, tools in the spatial analyst uh, toolkit. And uh, that spatial analyst toolkit may or may not run a parallel. If we uh, want, if we drag and drop this here, and I, I don't know how to see it here because it's, it's kind of appearing, popping up out of sight out of the frame. Uh, apparently the contour processing in uh, Arc is uh, not uh, parallelized. The reason we're using ArcGIS Pro here, we usually use uh, ArcMap for the demos because ArcMap I think has a niftier display here. It shows the metadata and it shows the messaging as to how many cores it's using what's actually being done. Is that every time we've tried uh, to run ArcMap using a surface of uh, you know 26,000 by 38,000 pixels, it crashes. We've never been able to get ArcMap to run with the surface uh, you know, effectively. ArcMap is, of course, only a 32-bit application. ArcGIS Pro is a 64-bit, so it's running, uh, so, so it's uh, a little bit more uh, uh, kick to it. What I'm going to do um, is uh, I'm going to pause the video here, and uh, once uh, Arc uh, comes back to life here after uh, 
uh, whatever it's however long it's going to take uh, like I say it's going to take uh, about uh, 20 minutes maybe 21 minutes uh, we'll continue the video and uh, see what the results are thanks for watching and uh, we'll be right back here so ready set pause okay everybody we're back here to, uh, uh, taking a look at what actually happened and uh, this uh, ended Arc, Arc Map, ArcGIS Pro ended somewhat unexpectedly I think it was only about 10 minutes or so and it's saying here the contour completed with warnings so let's see what this is all about view history okay it started at 334 and it succeeded at uh, 355 which is what about uh, 20 minutes uh, excuse me, lapse time, 20 minutes and 46 seconds, not bad. Some output features have over 1 million vertices. Well, okay, uh, so what, that's a problem? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, be that as it may, uh, we've seen how uh, how fast uh, ArcGIS does this compared to, ArcGIS Pro does this compared to Manifold. I remind you that uh, Manifold took 11 seconds to do, but uh, ArcGIS Pro just took 20 minutes and 46 seconds to do. And... Uh, that's not bad at all. Uh, this, uh, of course, what we're doing here in ArcGIS Pro, besides the base price of ArcGIS Pro, you have to buy Spatial Analyst, which is uh, $2,500. And that's considerably more than the uh, very low price of uh, Manifold. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief demo. If you want to do contours, if you're an Esri person, it's quicker to uh, export the data to Manifold, do contours in Manifold in a few seconds, and bring it back into Arc, than just to sit around waiting for 20-some minutes. I've saved everybody the, the need to do all that uh, by... Uh, putting this video on pause, uh, but it really did take uh, over 20 minutes to do what Manifold does in uh, 11 seconds. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.